Hello and welcome back, and I'm speaking quietly because it's 3 a.m. on Friday morning. Uh, hopefully you got a chance to watch my bridge video, which I just posted a few hours before now. This week in class, I taught how to electrify a light bulb, which is fairly simple, and there's plenty of videos on YouTube for that. So that was what I did in school this week. I want to say a little bit, I'm getting so much mail and I really appreciate it. And I was doing the mailbag videos, but I found that they weren't getting the views and they were kind of boring. I just want to say thank you. A lot of people send me some really cool stuff. You'll see them scattered throughout here and there. I really appreciate it. This piece of wood I'm about to use came from these guys. My friend needed a swing this week, so this package came exactly at the right time. I used the slab of walnut that these guys gave me. She wanted it monogrammed. It was a gift. And so you see here, I don't know where it's going to live, but it was fun to make. And uh, I think I have an idea to make an inside swing. So that's going to be an upcoming video. I've done a swing for a tree, but this one is going to be for inside loft here in Brooklyn. This week I finally found the time to unbox the Torchmate plasma table. It's a 4400. It's an amazingly big, incredible machine that I have to get electrified. Another thing this week, I'm having a, a pole put in my second property. That's the beginning of my, my new space. One of the first things I'm going to do is electrify this machine here at the end of my container. It's really not enough room, but I will be able to run it as soon as I get my electric set up. Oh, we were able to move this machine. It's about a 700 pound machine. Willie and I were able to, to drag the pallet right in front of the container and then using these skates, we were able to move the machine the last few feet. These skates are really good. I got them out of the Northern catalog. They're great for moving heavy equipment. Each one of these skates can hold up to 3,000 pounds. I'm trying again with the mouse trap. I have this idea based on like an old killie trap. We used to catch killies in Long Island and use them as fish bait. And I once saw a mouse trap set up this way. The problem I have in my chicken coop is that the food is out, so I don't think they're going to go into a trap to get the food that it's already there in the thing, so i got to think of a better solution. I'm not sure what it is just yet. Taylor needed some steel for an upcoming chair order, so we went to Albany Steel. My first visit every time we go to Albany Steel is I go into the drop room. They do a lot of custom construction stuff, real large-scale stuff, so you see these giant hockey pucks. These are plasma cut out of a three-inch plate. Can you imagine what the plate was for if this is what's left over? Tons of chunks. This is where I get all the chunks that you usually see in my workflow. Right when you walk in the front of the place, you see all this cash and carry stuff. It's five feet long. It's pretty much every extrusion that you need that's sort of within a reasonable scale. Anything big, when you order custom stuff that needs to be cut, you go to door 10. And when you look inside door 10, you see this huge, massive space. This huge crane picks up anything you need out of the library and then they bring it over to the saws and cut it to length and they load it onto your truck. Nice guys, I recommend if anybody's in the upstate New York area, check out Albany Steel. They've been there for 100 years so they're not going anywhere, so check them out. When we got back from Albany Steel, sitting in my driveway was my Tormac 440. I knew they were going to drop it off, so they told me where they were going to leave it. And Willie was actually at the house, so Willie started dragging the pallets back towards the garage. And we were able to set it up. It's not running yet. I haven't connected the computer. That's going to be this upcoming week. So thank you very much, Tormac. I'm looking forward to working on this machine and getting to intimately know how to use it.
read some of the books in this thing. Rockla sent me some cool stuff this week to work on, and one of the first things I did was I tried the dovetail jig. And here you see I use these shop bins, and these are great. I have a sort of I have a standard size for my shop, so anytime I make these, I make them the same size. So, so if I make a batch in the beginning of the year, the middle of the year, at the end of the year, they all fit together. They all stack on top of one another. And the bottom pops out so that it puzzles into the previous box. And I, this time I experimented with New Times Roman instead of my typical logo, which I happen to really like this. It looks pretty. So look forward to me doing some stuff with the Rockler equipment. Another job I did this week off camera was installing the ceiling elements in the kindergarten classroom. We wanted something that was going to cover up these ugly tiles but not be too involved. Sort of just like a decorative thing. Each one of these panels is held in with four screws. They are one inch thick gator board painted with a latex paint. I have them spaced down one inch. So they're kind of suspended on the ceiling. Everyone seems to be happy with them so that makes me happy. If you notice in my video I'm using these Parandi axes, these are very sexy and very sharp. I want to thank Parandi. I like these a lot. I love how sharp they are and I love to use this. If you notice in my video I use this to pull and push on the wood. This acts kind of like a pick a -roo, and It really is nice to have this big broad open edge like that. So thank you guys for these. I really like using these. Check them out. Parandi from Italy. All made in Italy. Tomorrow, Saturday the 19th, I'm going to be at the Rochester Maker Fair. Rory May is going to be there. Chop with Chris is going to be there. And a few other YouTubers are going to be there. So please try and check it out. If you're in the New York, Rochester area, thank you for watching.